PlayStation game console, Nintendo 64, and Game Boy Color rated number one through teen. I've always been a leg man. Army man, Sarge's Heroes 2, real combat, plastic man. Good to go. Can anyone hear me? Anyone? I'm not accusing you either, Tanya, but, you know, you have to admit, the list of suspects is, um, getting pretty short right about now. Let's just figure out a rerun schedule. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What would the students want to hear again? We got Blair's eight-part editorial on how figure skating should allow body text, high sticking, and penalties for excessive ruffles. <laughs> Ladies, I couldn't help but overhear something about the list of suspects getting much shorter. Has there been some developments I should know about? No. Only that, uh, the Vandal is someone from Radioactive. Really? Has anyone been acting suspiciously? You know, acting strange, out of the ordinary, decidedly odd. No. No, not that I've noticed. Which, for Radioactive, is pretty odd in and of itself. Yeah, even George has been unusually rational. I see. And where is George right now? Uh, last time I saw him, he was in the booth trying to fix the switchboard. He seems to be the only one with any idea how to fix it. Or how to break it in just the right way. You don't think George, our George? Trust no one. Huh. Sarah? Sarah, where's George? Uh, he's in the school. <laughs> yes, I know, but where exactly? <laughs> well, you know, George, he's always underfoot. <laughs> Let's go see if he's still putting the switchboard back together. down here somewhere. I can feel him. Try to find your way back to the closet and I'll meet you there, okay? Aww. Oh, hi, Roger. <laughs> Roger, once again, your desire to follow instructions is commendable, if too literal. <laughs> when I asked you to keep your ear to the I ground... I hear him! What? Who? This is on the move! J Roger, what? Roger, use your feet! <laughs> He's there under the floor! Who is it? The Vandal, looking for more wires to cut, I'll bet. <laughs> We've got to flush them out somehow. There must be a secret hole in the wall or the floor, wherever he got in. We'll just have to make another one to get him out! Like I said, he's in the school. Somewhere. Can't you be more specific? The cafeteria, library, math class... <laughs> what was that? That would be George. What is he doing down there? He's got the upper Redwood High Vandal cornered. You mean he's not the Vandal? George? Of course not. He's the one who figured out who it was. Well, we better go tell Roger that George is innocent, because he's going to squeal on him in Noseworthy. He's 
Mr. Noseworthy's a reasonable man. It's not like he's gonna make a snap decision to dish out some severe punishment. Got him! Torch, here's your vandal, Mr. Noseworthy. Yep, right here. Fidel got out of his cage, and he's been chewing his way through every electrical system in the school. You're telling me classes were disrupted, property was damaged, and Upper Redwood was held in a grip of fear by a rodent? A criminal mastermind rodent. What a taste for some yummy wire insulation. A bad hand, Sir Fidel. Very, very naughty. Back behind bars for you, my furry felon. Well, that solves that. Only, how did all the frogs disappear? Uh, Fidel must have led them out of their cage. <laughs> right, like he was trying to raise an army to do his evil bidding. Yes. Good thing we stopped them in time. We might have all been at their mercy. Forced in some mad Twilight Zone hierarchy with humanity reduced to mindless slave drones under the pitiless rule of the frog caste. Driven to back-breaking manual labor in the fly mines and subject to the merciless lashes of their sticky tongues at the slightest hesitation to carry out any croaked order, all under the watchful gaze of the mighty hamster overlords. Yeah, that would have sucked. 